Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my empties video. It is going to be a long one, so grab a drink, grab a snack because you're in for the long haul. I was looking at myself and I was like, what's not, what's not right? Something's not right. And then I remembered I didn't put my brows on. Now they're on, now we can start with the empties. Anyway, as I was saying, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack because this is going to be a super long one and my box is like full. And this time it's not of stuff that I'm going to take out. This time it's of stuff that I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to start showing you things and then we can talk about them, whether I liked them, whether I didn't like them. And I'll go ahead and link the playlist of my empties videos down in the description box in case you want to see some of my previous ones. Normally what I do is I just grab stuff from the box and I show it to you in complete disarray unless it's a wax thing in that case I'll leave it to the end and I'll do the wax things at the end because I know some people are here for the beauty stuff only and then they can quit when it comes to the wax stuff and for those of you that like to watch the wax stuff it's there at the end for you. So the first thing I've got here is the Aussie uh, Miracle Hair Insurance Lightweight Conditioning Spray. This is with Australian jojoba seed oil and it is like a leave-in spray conditioner. I kind of enjoyed this, but the detangling sort of... It, it says a saviour a savior for weak, distressed hair, which it was nice on my hair. But detangling-wise, it's not my friend, so I'd rather have a more detangling leave-in conditioning spray that also does the damage thing. It's a turn is like my holy grail, but I can't get it. I need to find one in the UK that I can get that basically works exactly the same. The next thing I have is another hair thing. It is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Sweetie. I do enjoy this scent. It is supposed to smell like candy, but I don't really think that it does smell like candy. I think it just smells nice. It has a sweet scent to it, but it's not like a candy scent. Uh, it, I love Batiste. I will always buy Batiste. Maybe not this scent again, but I do enjoy the Batiste Dry Shampoos. Another hair thing. I think this box is filled with hair stuff. Just going to put it out there now. This is the Avon Naturals Daily Hair Refresher in Raspberry and Hibiscus. This is really, really nice and it does, it's a nice scent for your hair. But it's a strong scent and it's the type of sprayer where it gets to the back of your throat. So I wouldn't buy it again just purely on the basis that it wasn't pleasant to use. The effect was pleasant but the experience of using it and choking on it and wishing that you hadn't sprayed it, that was fairly unpleasant, so I wouldn't get that again. Um, shall we continue with the theme of hair? I have the Oribe Orbe, however you pronounce that, the Cleanse Clarifying Shampoo. This was £40. And for a £40 shampoo, I would expect it to work miracles, because £40 is a lot for a shampoo. And it didn't work miracles. So on that basis, I wouldn't get it again. Second reason I wouldn't get it again, I don't know if you can see around the cap there. Sorry, it's kind of dirty, but I'm glad you can see it. It's kind of foamy, so it's like a shaving foam for your hair. That's the kind of consistency it is, and that weirded me out completely, and it wasn't a nice experience to massage into the hair, so I definitely wouldn't get this again. I am still looking out for a great clarifying shampoo, although don't really want a clarifying shampoo right now because... Let's face it, I just dyed my hair blue. I was trying so hard to get through this entire video without mentioning my hair because you guys are going to be sat there going, what, what, what's happening? She's coloured her hair and she's not saying anything like it's normal. This isn't normal. I have coloured my hair. It is permanent. I love it. Andrew's not seen it yet. So if I upload this video before he sees it, he might see the video because sometimes he watches his video, the, my videos while he's on his way home because he cycles and then he walks the rest of the way. So he like puts it on and then he can watch it while he's walking or have it in his headphones or whatever. So he might actually see this video before he sees my hair in person. Depends on when I upload it. Anyway, yes, I coloured my hair. Moving on. This was not good. If you enjoy luxury hair, foamy things then you might enjoy it but for me it wasn't worth the 40 pounds so this is the waterman's conditioner condition me sulfate free uh, replenishing and nourishing conditioner this i'm still trying out 
Um, it's a long-term thing. It's supposed to. It's very anti-breakage, anti-fallout fighting type thing, and it is sulfate-free, so it will work with my color. I maybe got through this in a couple of weeks or so, which it goes by really, really quickly. But in those two weeks that I was using it, even just the conditioner on its own, I saw a difference in how much hair was coming out when I was washing it. So I'm still testing this out. I'll get back to you. I'm probably going to do a review, to be honest, because. If it's as good as I feel it is at the moment, like long term, then I want to go into it in a bit more detail rather than just a passing, oh yeah, this was good. The next thing is the Avon Senses Moisturising Shower Cream, and this is the Sensual Mystique Exotic Rose and Jasmine flavour scent. This was okay. I have a ton of these Avon shower gels, as you know from previous empties. I'm still working through them. The one I've got at the moment is Sorted Caramel. I much prefer that scent to this scent. This scent was kind of, it's a nice scent, but they're two compl completely different scents. This one was, because it's Jasmine and Rose, it was kind of floral and exotic and sensual and nice, as the name describes. But the one I'm using at the moment, the Sorted Caramel one, is more me, because I prefer a bakery scent. That's just my preference. But if you enjoy a floral scent, then this is a nice one. I have the Cordley Instant Foaming Cleanser with Grape and Sage. Um, I didn't enjoy this. It's, it was really hard to finish up, actually. I decided I didn't like it about here. And then the rest of it just dragged. So if you like value for money, then try this cleanser out because it lasts ages. But I just didn't feel like it got my face clean. And the result of me feeling like my face wasn't clean was I did encounter some um, weird patches where it's not that it was a breakout but like you could tell that it wasn't the dirt hadn't come up properly like it wasn't filling my pores either it was just like a I could have done with another wash after it which you don't want with a facial cleanser so I wouldn't get this one again this one I would get again and I have got again this is the Nooks Rev de Mille don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize for those of you who speak French. Um, this is the face cleansing and makeup removing gel with honey and sunflower and it soothes and softens and it's for dry and sensitive skins. Now I don't have dry or sensitive skin but I really really enjoyed this. I have got it again as I said I love the scent. It smells amazing and it always reminds me of Christmas and that's because I had this once in a little sample size in a advent calendar. So now the scent always reminds me of Christmas time because I received it the first ever time in my life around Christmas. So that's quite pleasant. Although maybe in the spring you don't want to be thinking it's Christmas. So I might switch it out for something a little bit more fresh. I want to try the Boots Feel Good Skin Good thing. Those are my British viewers. If you know anything about that new skincare that's in Boots that's on offer, let me know because I've heard nice things but I'm not sure how it will work with my skin. My skin seems to be adapting slightly. When I started YouTube like eight, nine months ago, my skin was oily all over, just oil everywhere. And then it changed to like a normal oily combination and that's how it has been for maybe four or five months now. But then over the past two, three, four days, I've noticed some dry patches in the patches where it's normally oily. So now, it seems to be acting like it's dry normal combination rather than oily normal combination. So who knows? It might be that I'm using something that's stripping my skin. We'll find out when I change my toner whether or not that's the case. It's definitely not this because this has never stripped my skin before. So back to the hair care, I have this humongous Kalos Cosmetics Banana Shampoo with multivitamins. I got this in Poland and I was in Poland in May, so it has lasted me a hell of a long time, but it's really, really nice. It has that really, really, really horrible to some artificial banana scent, you know, like the banana candies that you can get and it smells like that. To me, it smelled amazing, but if you don't like the artificial banana candy smell, then you won't like that. There's a cap, that was for the dry shampoo. I have this EOS Evolution of Smooth. Oh, I guess that's what EOS stands for. 
Mm, never really thought of that before. Shave cream, this is in the Vanilla Bliss scent. This is the only scent that I have access to. I did enjoy this and I have repurchased. At the moment I'm using my body lotions as a shaving cream because I ran out of this and had no idea where to get this and then I found it and then I had to wait for it to be delivered. So it's currently sat in a box doing nothing. But when I finish up the lotion that I'm using, I will go back to this. I have the I Love Lemon Meringue Bath and Shower Cream. This was nice, I used it as a bubble bath. It wasn't exactly luxurious on the skin, but it didn't dry me out either, so. I have the Superdrug Nail Polish Remover. This is the acetone one. I will never get this again. Even if I'm in dire straits and I don't have a nail polish remover, I will never get this. It's really, really bad. It takes forever to take off your nail polish. Even a cream, like I have on at the moment, it would take a good three or four soaked pads just to remove one nail, so it's not good. Another thing that I didn't enjoy was the Balance Me Pure Skin Face Wash. This is just a sample size, and I'm glad I didn't buy the full size in this because this dried out my skin horribly to the point where I was dry, but because I, was, I wasn't I was dry like scaly dry, I was dry like dehydrated dry, and my skin started breaking out really, really badly. And then as soon as I stopped this, my skin stopped breaking out, so... Don't know what that was. I have the Benefit, the Professional Matte Rescue uh, Mattifying Gel. This was okay. I wouldn't repurchase. It's not my favourite primer, but it did keep me matte, so... It was just um, a consistency thing. It wasn't my favourite. I had to take a quick break there to have a drink. My throat was a little bit dry. Probably because I've been talking for 12 minutes non-stop. Anyway, I have some small things in here that I will... I have, there we go, I knew I had multiples. So I have the mane and tail, I have one, two conditioner, and one shampoo. These were okay. At first it was nice, but then uh, the shampoo I really, really enjoyed. The conditioner does nothing. But because the conditioner does nothing, I did get a lot of breakage because my hair was tangled. But the shampoo was really great for, like, clarifying, so... I would consider getting this again. There was something in this that put me off getting it again though. Yeah, the conditioner has parabens in, the shampoo does not. So I might get the shampoo if I see it again. I have the Cow Shed Chamomile Refreshing Toner. I did not like this. It wasn't it wasn't great, it wasn't my favourite. I had it combined with the Balance Me. I did these two together and it just wasn't a great experience combining. So I wouldn't get that again. The Balance Me Flash Cleanse Micellar Water. It wasn't that great. It was better than the Sanctuary Spa one, but again, it still didn't cleanse my skin like that one did, so... Or didn't, I should say. I have multiple things here. I have this. This is a perfume. This is the Little Black, Black Dress... Oh, oh my god. Little Black Dress Eau Fraiche. Fresh? Fresh. Again, my French, not great. Which is funny, because I was great at French in school. I got a B in my GCSEs, and then I went on to do it A level. Granted, I only got through the first year of A level, but anyway. Perfume by Avon. It was okay. Like all Avon scents, they smell great for the first like half hour and then they fade. I have a pocket back. It is the Merry Cookie scent. I did enjoy this, but the rest of my friends and family did not, so I probably wouldn't get this one again because I am a pocket back sharer. And I do like to, when we go to the bathroom, like, or go out for a meal together, then my pocket back gets passed around the table and we all use it. So I'd rather have a scent that everyone will like. I have the Wish Firming Body Cream. This is in the scent of rice milk. It was a nice scent. I wouldn't say it smelled like rice milk. It kind of smells floral. Can't attest to the firming side of things. I have a chapstick. Woo, I finished a lip balm. This is just the original SPF 10, which, although the SPF would have died yonks ago, and I don't know if you can see that, there's a teeny tiny nib, but it's scraping my thing and it won't go up any further, so I'm not, I'm just calling it done. I have too many lip balms to deal with that teeny tiny nib, so. I have the W7 Pumpkin Pie Lipstick. This is a declutter. I decluttered the rest of the W7 lipsticks, but this one was in a project pan. That project is now finished, so I'm now decluttering that one as well. Another declutter is the Avon professional clear skin blemish mark treatment. It's supposed to get rid of acne scarring, that sort of thing. I never really found a use for this because I don't, even though I get breakouts, they don't scar. Sorry to those who have scars, I guess I'm just lucky. 
I didn't ask for this to happen. It just happens. I just don't scar when I have acne, so don't really have a use for this. And it's probably at this point well past its date because it's been in my collection for ages because I've never used it because I don't get scarring. So that's going in the trash. I have two mascaras here. This one is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. I've talked about this once before and I will talk about it again. This is my favourite mascara of all time. Although there is one in competition for it right now, which I'm not ready to discuss yet. But there's that. That one I used up completely. It was getting dry and clumpy, so I decided to, you know, trash it. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lashes Curl Mascara. I like the wand on this, but I don't like the formula. It's super dry and super clumpy and patchy and just generally not good. So I'm trashing that one. Another thing I'm trashing is this. This is the Rimmel Brow Pencil in brown. Um, the colour's nice for me, but it's that old that it's completely dried out. Although it swatched okay there. It's swatching okay now, but when I swatched it before it was super dry. I don't know if you saw that video. can't remember which one it was, but I was like drawing on my hand and it wasn't good. So I'm trashing that. So I'm not even going to fight with it. I've got... I have this. This is the Avon A New Vital Day Cream. This is for the over 25s. They do them in sections. So there's an over 25, an over 35, I think, and an over 50. And they all, you know, have different strengths of their anti-aging in. It was okay. I enjoyed the night cream. The day cream was a little bit too much for me. I have the N4 High Performance Hair Care Restore Oil. This is like for after colour. It restores your hair and protects your colour like after you colour it kind of a thing. That's what this was for but that's not what I used it as, I just used it as a nice um, oil in my hair and to be honest it did, it was really really nice. So I mean N4 is a really expensive hair care company, I probably wouldn't get it again. I have hair oils from like Moroccan oil and that kind of a thing that I enjoy just as much so. I have the Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation. I do not like this foundation. I mentioned it multiple times as I was, as I was using it in my baskets. It's just the colour isn't right for me. It's Believe in Me Ivory, which I did look it up and this is the lightest one that they do and it was still a touch too dark, so colour range probably not that great. I have the Time Miracle Cell Cellular Repair Serum. I did not like this. The serum was way too thin, like of a consistency, like it was like water but then it, it wouldn't go on like water. Like, you know how you put water on your skin and it sinks in? It didn't do this. It was like the consistency of water, but then you put it on your skin and it you're rubbing it in for ages and ages and ages. And it's just like lotion that will never, ever, ever sink into your skin. It was kind of like that, but in serum form. And I, it's expensive as well, so I would never get that. I have the Avon Magic Effects Nail Polish in gold. This is the molten metal version. I finished this up in a project pan. Oh yeah, the lid was squeaky. Finished. This was really nice. I enjoy these Avon like textured molten metal nail polishes. I really like them. I have them in multiples. I have a blue one, I have a brown one, I have a grey one, I have a pink one, and I really enjoy this formula. It's It dry, does dry texture, so if you don't like the texture, you'll have to use a really thick top coat, which I do a couple of layers of top coat and there's no texture at all, so. Oh yeah, the Sanctuary Spa cleansing water. We talked about this, it didn't cleanse my face. I have a perfume here. I have the Goldea, uh, the Roman Knight. I have no idea what this smelled like. I don't even know if I liked it or not. Which probably says a lot because if I liked it then I would have remembered it. And there's not even enough to get out. Teeny tiny bit. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. That's quite nice, actually. Um, yeah. Oh, it's it's Bob Bulgari. It's the Gold Goldea by Bulgari. Um, that's quite nice. I would actually consider getting that. Um, 
Okay, three things left and then onto the wax. So I have the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Cleanser, no not cleanser, moisturizing gel cream thing. I wouldn't buy this, I did use it on my feet but that's not why I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it because it's Philosophy and Philosophy I think are way overpriced for what they do. So I wouldn't do that. I have the Clores Body Milk in Bergamot Pear. This was nice. It wasn't overly moisturizing though. So if you have dry skin, consider that when you get these. Probably wouldn't get it because again, Clores I think is overpriced for what it is. This sample size of body milk, this size was like five pounds or something. I wouldn't spend that. You could get, you could go into Superdrug and get a nicer cream or into Boots and get a nicer cream and get a cream that lasts you longer that works better for either around the same price or cheaper. So, and the last thing then is this Dermalogica oil control lotion. I again use this on my feet because I didn't need it as an oil control lotion anymore. But when I w did have oily skin, using this did help. So it is something to consider if you have oily skin. I have, okay, onto the like f uh, scent wax things. I have this, this is the Alva Candle Company Marshmallow Scented. Um, it was like the granules, the sands that you put into the warmer and it just like, the sands are like oil and it burns the oil and you're left with dry sand and you just throw the sand away. And um, that's what these were. The marshmallow scent was okay. I much prefer the one that's I'm using at the moment, which I forgot to light the candle, is um, toffee or like toffee waffles or something. And that smells better than this one. So, okay, I have the... Yankee Candle Wild Mint. I wouldn't get this again. It didn't smell of anything like five minutes after I put it into the thing and it melted completely. I was like, I can't smell anything. I want to change it already. So I wouldn't get that. I have 16 of these. Now these were from Wax Addict, I think it was called. Yeah, Wax Addicts. They're an online retailer and what they do is they provide you with scents of candles that already exist and they give you these little pots and then you can get them and try them out for like, so you don't have to pay the full price from the retailers. What I used them from for was, I liked that they did scents that I can't get in this country, like the American, the USA only Yankee Candle scents or Better Homes and Garden scents. We can't get those here. So I really enjoyed it for that kind of a thing. However, breaking, I learned after that, that breaking these up like this causes the scent to dissipate really, really quickly. Some of these were amazing and like, oh, they were brilliant, but some of them were okay. And some of them I would get again because they were worth the four hour or less by the time you melt it, by the time it was melted and then you, you could only smell it for four hours and then you had to change it, which is why I have so many. Some of them were worth that and I would get them again some of them, not so much. So I'm just going to go through them really, really quickly with you. Mary Berry Linzer by Yankee Candle. Wouldn't buy that one. Warm Apple Cider by Goose Creek. This one smelt for a long time, but I didn't really like the scent, so I wouldn't get that one. Golden Maple Waffles by Better Homes. I wouldn't get that one. I didn't really like the scent again. Apple Pumpkin by Yankee Candle. I would get that one. That one was awesome. Almond Butter Pound Cake. The scent kind of dissipated and was a bit rubbish, so I wouldn't get that one. Magic Cookie Bar by Yankee Candle. I, the scent was rubbish on that one. Wouldn't get that one. Honey Lavender Gelato by Yankee Candle. The scent on this just does, has no throw at all whatsoever. Wouldn't get it. Carrot Cake by Goose Creek. That one was okay might consider getting it. Salted Caramel by Yankee Candle, would definitely get that, loved it. Crumb Coffee Cake, meh, was okay. This one's by Cheerful Candle, it was okay. Might get it, might not. Merry Mint Chocolate, didn't really smell of anything. That one's by Yankee. Spiced White Cocoa by Yankee, that didn't smell of anything. Candied Caramel Pecan, that was amazing. I would definitely buy that. That one's by Better Homes. Homemade Brownies. Andrew really enjoyed this one. This one's by Goose Creek. It was just okay to me. I've had better chocolate ones. Uh, Summer Scoop is one that I will always repurchase by Yankee Candle. I do enjoy this one. And Raspberry Sunday by Yankee was, again, just okay. And that's everything in my box. 
as I said, it has been a long one. At this point, I've been filming for over half an hour. So by the time I edit it down, maybe we can get it under half an hour. Who knows? Thanks for sticking with me. And thank you for putting up with the crazy hair slash craziness. You guys should see my desk right now. It's just like covered in empties. I, I love doing my empties videos because it feels so, so, so good to chuck everything out and have an empty box again. So good. You have no idea. Well, you kind of have an idea if you like me and you're like throwing things out, then you might have an idea. But to me, it's like the best thing ever is to get it done, start fresh, clean slate and all that. It's, I really enjoy it. I hope you enjoy watching it just as much as I enjoy filming them. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because then I know to keep making these videos and I will see you in the next one. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.